Hey guys, I've missed you so much. I posted this photo on Instagram about a month ago and it seemed to be a pretty big hit with those of you who follow me. I honestly thought I'd lost the tutorial footage that I filmed, but luckily I found it, so here it finally is. This is a really romantic, soft pink look. It kind of reminds me of something Barbie would rock. I think it's suitable for every day, a date, maybe even bridal makeup. As usual, this is super easy to achieve, so let's get started. I've already moisturized, so I'm just priming my face with the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I've really been liking this so far because it actually does a pretty decent job at blurring out my gargantuan pores. <laughs> For foundation today, I'm using a combination of the Garnier BB Cream for oily skin and the CoverGirl Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation. I'll include the shades that I'm using in the description box below. As you can see, I was running low on the CoverGirl foundation. It is one of my absolute favorites. So I'm going to buff these two into my skin using the Real Techniques buffing brush. And for my under eye area, I'll be using MAC's Pro Longwear Concealer, and I believe this is an NC20. And I'm trying to pump out the smallest amount, which is nearly impossible with this damn pump, but I managed to do it like a boss. I'm just going to dab it under my eyes, and before I blend it out, I'm also going to apply some of the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer in CW10 Yellow. So now I'm going to blend them both out with a damp beauty blender. To set my under eye, I'm using Maybelline's Fit Me Powder as usual in Classic Ivory and I'm blending it out with a Real Techniques setting brush and this is my favorite new under eye powder brush, it's awesome. And to set my foundation, I'm going to be using CoverGirl's Loose Translucent Powder and I'm doing it with a big fluffy powder puff. Onto my brows, I'm just brushing out the powder and foundation from them with a clean spoolie and then I'm filling them in with MAC's Brow Pencil in Fling. Once I feel like they're filled in enough, I'm going to brush out any excess with a clean spoolie again and then I'm going to take a little bit of concealer and I'm just going to clean up around the perimeter of the eyebrow. This is going to sharpen them, clean them up, and make them look really nice and crisp. If you want an in-depth video on how I've been filling in my eyebrows lately, let me know in the comments below and I will film that for you. So to start out my eye look, I'm priming with Max Painterly Paint Pot and I'm patting it all over my eyelid. And then with a flat brush, I'm going to pack this NYX Nude Matte Eyeshadow in Birthday Suit on the first half of my eyelid. And when I say pack, I mean like pack it on like it owes you money. This is a really pretty light baby pink shade. Next, I'm going to use this The Balm Blush in Lace, which is a really bright hot pink shade. And I'm just going to blend it into my crease. I'm applying enough so that it's super subtle, but you can still see that it's a hot pink shade. And I'm just doing back and forth motions. Now to deepen up that crease and define it further, I'm going to use a little bit of this Maybelline eyeshadow in Nutmeg. And I'm placing it slightly below lace and doing the same back and forth motion, very light handed. Now I'm adding a little bit of birthday suit onto my brow bone just below my brow hairs. And I'm sort of cleaning up the shape of that eyeshadow. And then I'm taking a clean fluffy brush and blending out the edge of that pink so that it's not too harsh. And now I'm going back over the bottom half of my eyelid with birthday suit so that it doesn't lose its shape. Basically, you want the bottom half of your eyelid to be very prominent and for there to be like a distinct separation between that part of your eyelid and the pink and brown duo above it, if that makes sense. And now I'm going back in with a little bit of nutmeg in the crease. I'm taking a bit of MAC Fix Plus and spraying it onto a flat synthetic brush and then I'm dipping it into this e.l.f. mineral eyeshadow in Girly, which is a frosty light pink shade. Mixing this with Fix Plus will make the eyeshadow adhere to the eyelid a little bit better and it will make it way more pigmented because it's naturally really light and subtle. So I'm placing a bit of that over top of birthday suit, mainly focusing on the outer edge of the eye. I kind of want it to have a wet look. Once I feel like I've got enough on there, I'm going to take a thin clean eyeliner brush and I'm going to define the crease further with nutmeg, except this time I'm defining it by creating a nice crisp straight line along the bottom of my crease. This kind of mimics a cut crease, but it's not as dramatic and way simpler to achieve. Because this is a soft pink and brown look, I'm going to be using a brown gel eyeliner as opposed to a black gel eyeliner. I feel 
like black would look a little bit harsh with this color combination and we want to look like delicate little angels so we're gonna stick with brown I'm doing my usual winged eyeliner I'm not gonna lie this was a bit of a struggle because my gel eyeliner has dried out a little bit but you know I worked it out And then I took a bit of concealer on a flat angled brush and I sharpened out that outer wing, which is one of my favorite tricks. It really makes it pop. I'm using Rimmel's Lash Accelerator Mascara to prep my lashes for falsies and the ones I'm using today are Ardell 106's and these are really pretty and separated. I think they go perfectly with this look. So I'm going to throw those on and then I'm going to apply a little bit more mascara to my top and bottom lashes. And then I'm going to apply a bit of this nude Rimmel eyeliner into my waterline. Now that my eyeliner and my eyelashes are on, I have a better idea of the look. So I want to go back in and deepen up my crease a little bit further. For blush, I'm going to use the same blush that I used on my eyes, which is the Balm in the shade Lace. I really like tying the eyes and the cheeks together. I feel like it makes it look really uniform. And then I'm taking whatever is left on my foundation brush and I'm just softening up that blush a little bit and diffusing it. And for highlight today, I'm using Hard Candy's Baked Bronzer in Tiki. And I'm going to throw a bit of that on my cheekbones, my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow. And it's going to give a really nice dewy finish to my cheeks. This is more of a highlighter than a bronzer. I don't know why Hard Candy calls it a bronzer. I wouldn't recommend using it as a bronzer, especially if you have an oil complexion. Now onto the lips. I'm using a Revlon Color Burst lipstick in Candy Pink and I'm smothering it all over my lips. This shade isn't too in your face but it still makes a noticeable difference in the look. So that is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I apologize, I've been a little MIA the last few weeks. I didn't want to bore you after my last long ass 42 minute career video, but I promise I'll be posting regularly in April to make up for my absence, if you'll have me. All of the products that I used in this video, along with all of my social media platforms, will be in the description box below as usual. I want to thank you guys very much for watching, thank you for subscribing, and patiently waiting for me to post, and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.